you know, she got to love, she loved the kids. Then they get split up again, and two's here, one's there, one's there. Then it was three here. So she just, you know, this at this point because they were in the system so long, they were going to just get split up. She had the room, and they're in a nice, beautiful neighborhood, you know, nice schools, and so she took them in so they didn't have to get split up. It was eight days after she retired. But I was basically into doing my retirement and actually coming out of uh, work. By me retiring and the kids coming eight days later, it gave me eight days to get prepared. You know, I thought about the children where they needed like um, togetherness, where they could actually flourish. How can I make an impact for them to feel comfortable and then want to be productive adults. She's giving them life skills. Her whole goal is to, if she closed her eyes tomorrow, she said this all the time, I want you to be able to go on your own, do on, be on your own, you know. The kids get a sense of responsibility. School, you have to be up and ready and on time. And then when you come in from school, you relax maybe half an hour, hour and then you get into your homework. Having stability in your life. They have a um, the chores, and it's not even, a, they don't even have a lot of chores, but it's a board and then, you know, Monday to, you know, everybody has on there. She has everything written out, everything structured, you know. So if you go to the calendar and to the board, you know what's happening. Put it on the board. Don't come up, oh, I gotta go there today. Well, you didn't put it on the board. I have people that were willing to uh, assist me such as my niece, she came on board, calling on different ones to actually help me out, really made it like an easy transition. They do the Bible study and then they go to the youth fellowship group and then they have the church and then now it's on Zoom. Just hearing her day, I'm exhausted, you know. And she keeps them close, close by. You got, you know, I need to, you want to go away, I'll drop you off. You know, where you going to be? Who's the mother? I got to see them, you know, da, 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 da. How, that's what you're supposed to do. Like I said, I look at Jeffrey, he'll say, everything she does is to benefit us. It feels great. I mean, um, I'm so proud of him uh, because um, him being the oldest, he has been through a lot more. And to see how he jumped right into school, a new school, he gave himself a year to kind of see where the school was at and how he could adapt. And after that first year, he just began to flourish. And um, all of the students love him and all the teachers love him. And that's kind of hard to get both sides to really care for you. But um, that's the type of person he is. Even where he's at now, he's the same. So he's doing really exceptional. It makes me feel really great, really, so yeah. I was really excited and surprised, you know. I was overwhelmed with it, yes. Uh, really something to hear, you know. If I can affect one child, then it's been worth it all.